All right, today we're starting with Gianni Storm. So Disney wasn't so magical for a few of their stars. Gianni, tell us what's going on. So the Black Widow has a new M enemy, and that is Walt Disney Company. So <laughs> Scarlett Johansson, the actress, is the star of the latest movie, Black Widow. Um, she filed a lawsuit last Thursday in L.A. against Disney. No, Gingy, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> against Disney. <laughs> and um, Scarlett Johansson's alleging that Disney breached their contract with her. So Johansson said in the suit that her agreement with Disney's entertainment guaranteed an exclusive theatrical release, and her salary was based in large part of um, the box office performance of the film. So the suit stated that Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of the agreement without any justification in order to prevent Scarlett Johansson from realizing the full benefit of her, like the bargain. Um, so this year, Disney has also released a number of movies, both in theaters and on Disney Plus during the COVID-19 pandemic, including Cruella, which was starring Emma Stone. Um, so now Emma Stone is considering taking over, um, well, she's considering also like suing, I don't, wait, actually. Yeah, she's also considering yeah, she's suing cool. because, of, because of the breach of contract with Disney. So yeah, okay. So my question to the panel is, do you think Disney should pay these actors their money? What do you think? Do you think that there was a breach of contract, or what are your Robert, thoughts? Um, what do you think, Robert? Um, I'm not a lawyer. I haven't reviewed any of the documentation, <laughs> so whether there's a breach, I don't know. Um, but that being said, just because something is lawful, contractual, doesn't make it ethical. Uh, while we're seeing a surge in the variant numbers, it's just selfish and greedy. Um, and really, at this point, I don't want to see these actors get paid, so I will probably find a less than legitimate source for this content. Uh, there's a demographic that's willing to pay good money to watch a theatrical release from the comfort and safety of their own home. Um, mm -hmm. I really hope that future contracts from the media outlets will recognize this new reality and make it so that everyone gets paid their due. Everyone should get paid their due. Why? But I mean, they've already paid her $20 million for this role, and the I know that it alleges that She'll be out fifty million because of this Gee, change. That's a lot. Well, yeah, but you know what? I'm sorry. If you're making millions of dollars during a pandemic, while millions of Americans can't pay their rent, uh, I'm sorry. That's I, it. Leaves a really sour taste in my mouth. It's um, and it it sucks when actors that you enjoy pull this kind of shit because they. Liz, you're happy because I'm, I'm not happy no longer at all. She doesn't with like Scarlett. I'm, I'm not happy I'm not, at all. I mean, I'm, I'm not on, the I'm camp on at Scarlett all. Johansson side here. I'm on Scarlett Johansson <laughs> side here. Too, and and you know, where are the ethics with Disney? <laughs> you signed a contract with Scarlett Johansson. Her contract did not have a streaming clause in it. It had an exclusive theatrical release clause in it. And so you can't change. I hope you guys need to watch Judge Judy because she breaks this down <laughs> almost every show. You cannot change the terms of the contract in a verbal agreement. The only way you can do that is if you make a new contract. You can't you just can't go do and it say, without oh, consequences. after the fact. And Disney made a hundred over a hundred million dollars off of the streaming from Disney Plus for for not just for this movie, but for um, the the what do you call those things when you sign up? Help me out here. My brain is flying. Like the membership subscriptions. subscriptions, right? They made a hundred million dollars off of that, and it's not just Scarlett Johansson. This first came up last year with Denzel Washington, okay, and Warner Brothers for the movie, The Little Things. He was pissed because his contract was exclusive theatrical release for the first 90 days. And then all of a sudden, they decided they were going to release it in theaters, and then they were also going to stream it 
-hmm. on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. He was pissed. And so after the fact, when he threatened to sue, they renegotiated his contract. Like you can't just, I understand what you're saying about, okay, these, these um, actors and actresses makes a lot of money, $20 million. And sorry, the $20 million, I'm going to be very careful here because I do work for Disney, but that was not in good faith that they released how much that she made for this movie just so they can throw stones at her after the fact. But the reality is how much did Disney make off of this movie? We're talking about Scarlett Johansson's, you know, take away from it. How much did this big movie company make from this? They made tons more than she did. The whole so point of her contract was a share of the revenue. And exactly. if you change the way the revenue is going to be made, then you need to change how you're sharing the revenue. And it mm -hmm. happened also, it was a topic of conversation with the second awful uh, Wonder Woman. With I, How do you say her name? Gal, Gal Gadot. Gadot? Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. However, she renegotiated. They renegotiated. So she got some of the back end from the streaming. Like all you have to do is work and be in good faith with your talent. And so now we yeah. see it's not just Scarlett Johansson, it's Emma Stone. It's all of these other actors who are looking like, okay, all right. You know, because yeah, people are saying, well, I made XYZ for this, but how much did the studio make? And we we got to be fair Brilliant. here. We got to be fair about this here. And you know, yeah, it's a pandemic and people aren't paying, you know, able to pay their rent. That shouldn't even be a part of the conversation because those people might not be going to the movies anyway. Like we're talking about two totally different things here. So yes, I, and you know, far be it from me because I'm not a Scarlett Johansson fan, but I'm with her on this. Like, don't fuck with my money. Don't fuck with my money. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, I mean, if you, if you change the terms of the contract, if you change the terms of your agreement, then you have to, you know, change what you're what you're giving your your, especially your top tier people. I mean, you you know, you turn your hands and being the Black Widow. Shoot, I'm sure she took twenty million because she knew she was going to get a share of the revenue, right? So so, so you take a little bit less money, knowing that you're going to get some additional residuals on the back end. So when they put exactly. out this $20 million, you know, yeah, that's a lot of money to us. But, you know, she has an expectation of making $50 million, $100 million from the movie because she put in a lot of extra work. You know, it's just like, it's just like if you get a commission for something or, it, it, you know, you do a better job at it because you want to make sure that client is taken care of because they're gonna, you know, they're gonna come back. They're gonna love you. They're gonna... And it was her breakout movie, like right. for, it's for another... the Marvel um, universe. I think it's Marvel universe, but so it was it like is, it kind is of the a MCU, big deal. But this is the last, like this is her last portrayal of Black Widow. And if anything, she's cemented that it's going to be her last portrayal of Black Widow. She's aging out of the role. Oh yeah. Which, I mean, yeah. Again, it's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is the movie actually underperformed in the theaters. And you could make the argument yeah, that it, it underperformed in the theaters because, because they decided to send it to streaming. And so, I mean, I know yeah. I didn't watch it because we didn't have it um, as a part of our TLS at the movies. But if we, if that was going to be a movie, <laughs> we would have all watched it without having to pay a dime outside of our subscription. So yep. well, no, that's, they they, that's uh, not... they they actually charge extra for for those movies. So they'll charge like thirty dollars. The thing 30 is, the thirty dollars might cover like thirty dollars mm. might cover a whole family of like five or six or ten. And whereas if they went to the movies, they would have made you know three hundred dollars on that same movie. True. Uh, no, that same family. Is, right? I have I have Disney Plus, and so I would not have had to pay any more to see the movie. Like, I could yes, pull it up would. right now and watch it. Are you, no, I wouldn't. That's part of your contract that you have early access, but the rest of us yeah, who have a Disney it's... Plus subscription, we have to pay an additional $35 for the first two months. So I pay my subscription, oh, yeah, no. but if I want early access to this title, I, yeah, I have to pay $35. Neo has to yeah, pay that's, Oh, wow. That's, I mean, I could pull it up right now, and I haven't had to pay anything. It was the same with HBO mm -hmm. Max. Like I get all movies yeah, HBO on has HBO a Max. Has a different um, um, setup. And and again, I, I feel like why Disney, didn't Star like I know that? Be able to see it as, the oh, what'd you say, Gianni? 
I feel like why why wasn't that a possibility for Scarlett to know that streaming was an option? Like it's not the first time it's heard of. Like you mentioned, Denzel knew something about like that was a scenario. For no, him. Denzel knew after the fact. Denzel knew af after they announced. Oh. That they were going okay. to send it to, they were going to do a double release, release it in the theaters and then also stream it on the same day of release. It was the same with Scarlett. Like she's thinking, this is my contract, exclusive theatrical release. Then they come out with this, oh no, we're going to send it to Disney Plus or whatever. Total breach. Total yeah, I don't breach. have a problem then with them choosing yeah. to do streaming because of the pandemic. I don't have a problem with that. That is, that's fine with me. Right. I don't either. Right. It's just a matter of okay, know. you have like you know it's you have that. contracts that say something different, and you need to adjust. You need as Disney and Disney. Mm -hmm. We talk about how much uh, we talk. We I know Lizzie already said it, but we talk about how much uh, Johansson made. Disney makes so much money between ABC, <laughs> Disney, the. Uh, ESPN. Marvel, the ESPN. I mean, they are like they can afford to They're pay cute. her what she's due. I mean, it's it's almost like stealing. <laughs> I mean, and and mm -hmm. honestly, if they had renegotiated, they probably would have had the upper hand in how much she would have gotten for streaming. True. Yep. Mm -hmm. Versus now possibly True. leaving that up yeah. to a judge. Mm -hmm. You know, so they might have shot themselves in the foot. But no, I'm I'm all for streaming on the day of release. Listen, we possibly for our Me next too. movie might be watching Candyman. And I think all of us were kind of annoyed that it's not going to be on a stream, that we might have to leave our houses and go to the theater yeah. to watch that movie in a couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> Rob said no. I'm all for streaming. <laughs> I'm all for streaming, but I don't like when companies, when big conglomerates try to get over on their employees, regardless of how much the employee is making. Um, I, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. All right. Let's okay. get to some let's get to some of these comments online as Gingy's about to come right on in. Um Again? Like, yeah, like the third <laughs> time, right? <laughs> all right. Uh, Daria Winter, not to line your pockets, greed prevails throughout this nation. This is from Daria Winter. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike mm -hmm. Winter points out, I also have Disney Plus and it's $30 more. Um, Maybe it's because I'm an employee. I ain't got to pay nothing. He said, uh, Mike Winter suggests you <laughs> should take a look at her contract to see if it contains the pandemic stuff. Um, I mean, if it does, then, then that's it. That, that's on her. Uh, right. on her. Well, definitely Denzel's contract did not contain anything about um, any more, any clause about the pandemic or streaming. So that's why after the fact, when he threatened, they renegotiated. Um, Scarlett's lawyer is saying it did not contain any type of streaming clause. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens on that. Michelle Earl says uh, Disney needs to pay up, take it out of Mickey's salary. <laughs> What's up, Shelly? What's up, Shelly? Uh, given the classes again, Jacqueline Robinson, given the climate we've been in, lawyers and agents need to ensure that their clients' contracts are fluid enough to consider the gross receipts from streaming. And, and that's something yeah. that should be considered going forward as well. And also, yeah, she's a should. CAA client. She's a CAA client, which is one of the biggest entertainment agencies. So the last thing Disney wants to do is piss off these agencies. That's the last <laughs> thing they want to do. Yeah. All right. So what do we think about uh, Disney getting sued? Truth, lies, or shenanigans? Shenanigans, shenanigans all around. <laughs> truth, yeah. they, need well, think, be, they need to be sued. I think it's true. Truth, they um, need to be sued. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Come yeah. on, y'all. Y'all got me agreeing yes, with Neo up here. Let's I know. What's up with that? That's something wrong here. <laughs> I know. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all 